On day one at Imagination Station, we'll investigate with magnets, then craft a compass to discover what it means to trust Jesus. He always points us in the right direction. Walk kids through what to do with clear directions as you demonstrate. Remember, Imagination Station is where kids explore, experiment, test, try, and play. It's not where they just watch you demonstrate. Give them some freedom to test their own hypotheses. Here's your first tip. For the Explore Magnetic Poles section, you'll need more than one powerful magnet per crew, so kids can explore magnetic polarity. We found that magnets from craft stores varied in reliability, so here's an easy tip. Pull the magnets from all of the compass kits and set them aside. These work perfectly for the Explore Magnetic Poles section. Since you'll have four rotations of crews at VBS, you can provide four magnets per crew at no additional expense. Let's get started. Before there were GPS apps on our phones, people used compasses. Compasses helped sailors keep their ships pointed in the right direction. And we still need compasses today, too. After all, when you're exploring the Alaskan wilderness, your phone might not get any signal, but a compass works anywhere. No cell signal needed. You'll help kids explore how they work. And to do that, let's experiment with magnets. Kids have fun discovering what magnets attract and what they don't attract. Now, before experimenting, a good scientist always makes a hypothesis, an educated guess about what's going to happen. So before you get out the magnets, kids spend some time making guesses about which things will stick to the magnets. Let's test them out. Take out a pom-pom. That one's not doing anything. Let's try these stars. Hmm. Not much happening there either. How about these chenille wires? Ooh, that's pretty cool. They pulled right onto the magnet. All right, how about the aluminum foil? Huh, well, oh, nothing happening there. And last but not least, our paper clips. Oh yeah. Did anything surprise you? Here's a tip. Don't include the magnets in the baskets of pom-poms and chenille wires. The magnets will stick to things, revealing the results before kids have a chance to hypothesize. Kids get to experiment some more. I'm gonna spread out on this paper the things that were magnetized. What would happen if we placed a magnet under the paper? That is so fun! You saw how magnets attract metal, but not all metal. Kids get to try one more thing. When kids hold magnets together, sometimes those magnets push each other away. That's because every magnet has two poles, a north pole and a south pole. One side of your magnet is the north side, and the other side is the south. Magnets push against the same pole on another magnet. So if you and your friend were both holding up the south side toward each other, they'd push away. So what does that have to do with a compass? Well, the inside of our Earth is one giant magnet, and that magnet makes a compass work. Because of the magnetic point of the compass needle, it will always point north. Compasses sometimes point a little bit to the left or right of that because the magnetic north pole isn't exactly true north. That means compasses don't point us exactly true north, but they point us in the right general direction of north. But faith in Jesus can always point us to truth, exactly true north. Faith in Jesus won't ever get off track. When we wonder, we can trust Jesus. Let's see if our crews can actually make a compass. 
Get started by giving each crew a True North Compass Kit and a glue dot. Crew leaders will get out one of the mighty magnets from their baskets. First crews need to magnetize the needle. It's pressed safely into a foam packing peanut. One person in each crew holds the needle and swipes it against the magnet in the same direction 20 times. Watch how I do it. Then that person passes it to someone else. Crew leaders lead kids in counting as a child in each crew swipes the needle 20 times. Repeat until each child has swiped the needle on the magnet 20 times. Have your helper collect the magnets from every crew. That gets them out of kids' hands. Now we need to stick the needle to the cork so it floats. Have crews use the glue dot to attach the needle to the cork. Give each crew a cup of water and have them pour about half an inch into their compass discs. Now it's time to make our needles float. Be sure to put the cork in the water so that the needle is on top. And now for the moment of truth. Your compass should be pointing north. We've seen how compasses guide us. Now let's think about what that shows us about Jesus. A compass can help you find your way when you're lost. We all have questions and doubts about faith. Those questions might make us feel lost, but we can look to Jesus to point us in the right direction. I'm so glad all you scientists were able to join me today and discover more about how compasses point people to true north and Jesus points us to truth too. And there you have it two amazing interactive experiments that help kids connect with powerful Bible truths. 